guys, it's Rebecca. Second time filming this. <laughs> I just, I went through the whole spiel of showing you guys all the items and I was almost, I was down to my seventh item when I realized I wasn't recording. I forgot to push the record button. <laughs> so here I go again. And so I think this second time around, I'm gonna go through the items a lot faster because I don't remember what I said the first time. Let's just get started. The first item, oh well, hello. <laughs> this is my whatever update for my Project Pen Roulette. The beginning of the year, I had 32 items, prompts that I wanted to go through. Uh, maybe in the whole year, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me to go through all these prompts, but I am working on 10 prompts at a time. Last update, I had a really good update in which I finished five. Uh, this time around, I was only able to finish one, but I'll take it. That is the item that I'm starting with first. <laughs> it was for the prompt of a freebie item. And I used up this all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. This was my freebie. I love this setting spray. I think it's a great setting spray. Um, it's my favorite. And I don't know what else I said in earlier when I was talking to no one. <laughs> the next item, uh, now for the rest of the items that I do have progress on. Uh, the first thing is for the category of a cream product. And I am shedding hair everywhere. I feel like I'm like I feel hair everywhere. Uh, anyway, I am I, for the cream product. I'm using this Clinique lip balm. Uh, it's from this macaroon kit. I call it my macaroon kit. But I was able to hit pen officially last update. I had to put the ma the picture like the macaroon against the light so you guys could see I was about to hit pen. But finally, I was able to hit pen and I cl even cleaned the side. Um, I'm going through this one really fast. I apply this at night before going to bed. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to finish by the next update. If I don't, it's going to be really, really close. So hopefully I can get to finish this one by next update, but we'll see. The next one was for the category of a nail polish. And for that, I went with a mini polish from Sephora Formula X. This is the sheer strength in the color Wondrous. And this is where I'm at right now. Last update, I was up here. This update, I'm down to here. This is a very, very sheer nail polish. Um, you can't even tell when I wear it. I'm not wearing it today. I don't know why I showed you my hands, but um, yeah, it's very, very sheer. I like wearing it to work for that same reason because you can't even tell that I'm wearing any. The next one is for the category of something red and I'm wearing it on my lips and it's this e.l.f. Um, lip balm in the color EXO Red. It's a lip balm, if you can believe it. This is very, very pigmented. I use it, of course, mainly to film videos sometimes around the house i don't wear it to work even though i do wear lip gloss and stuff to work under my mask but um this is very creamy and it does move around so i don't want to end up looking like the joker under my mask so to play it safe i don't wear it to work uh, this is how much i have left i will be inserting a picture of my last update but it's not going to be accurate um, reason being is because this guy was kind of stuck, like it wouldn't roll up to like around, around there. And I thought that's all I had left. But then one day I, when I, un when I rolled it up, it finally unstuck and I was able to roll it up all the way to where the plastic is. And, um, I realized I had much more product left than I thought I did. So I'll still show the picture, but it's not an accurate representation of how much progress I've made. Hopefully next month you will be able to tell because I did roll it up all the way. The next category was for something from the Sephora brand and I am going with this Sephora black eyeliner. This is a pencil liner in the color Intense Black. It's just a cold pencil. And um, I did do some progress. I am up to the second line. My last update, I was on the top line of my hand. So I am making a little bit of progress. This is a... It's a smooth pencil, but it's not a creamy pencil. And by that, I mean, when you have an eyeliner that's really creamy, you need to sharpen it like almost every time you use it. This one, I can get several uses out of it before I can, I have to sharpen it again. And um, yeah, so I'm not sharpening it as often as I do other eyeliners. This is still gonna last me a little bit, um, but it works good. It doesn't run on me or anything like that. I think it's a good product. Then, uh, for the category of something in bulky packaging, I'm going with this foundation that you guys have seen all year. This is the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel, Gel Foundation. And I feel like I made a lot more progress in last update. It, the product is all the way down there. Uh, you can finally see like where I apply it. Like I, I'm, I'm able to hit the bottom of the jar 
when I um, reach for this product. And I started cheating a little bit. That's, that's this, this is what I realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm using it with a beauty blender because the sponge absorbs a little bit more product. So I go through it a little bit more. Um, I started using this with my hands. It works great when you blend it out with your hands. Then I started using it with a brush, but now I'm to the point where like it's already June and I haven't used up a single foundation this year. So I figured I needed a little bit of help. <laughs> so I started using it with my beauty blender. Some people might say I'm wasting product, but I'm still using the vast majority of this product. It's a good product. I'm just sad that I haven't been able to finish anything else. Then for the category of something from the Ulta brand, I went, I am using this Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. I am loving this primer. I absolutely love it. This is kind of a silicone uh, type product, but it's not, it's not 100% silicone. Like it doesn't feel like silicone on my face. When you put it on your, on your fingers, it, it looks like silicone, but once it goes on my face, it doesn't leave that like slippery feeling that silicone um, leaves. Uh, maybe because it's a mattifying primer, Maybe that's what it is, but I'm really loving it. This was brand new when I started it and the AC went on, hold on. Good Lord, so many difficult things happening in recording this video. Anyway, I don't know where I was at, but that is how much I have left. It was brand new when I first started it and I'm loving it. I'm enjoying every single application of this product. Uh, maybe I'm enjoying it because I'm mixing it with my next category, which is an item that I've repurchased. And for that, I am going with this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I love this product. I've purchased this many, many times. And like I said, I'm mixing it with that primer and it's giving me a beautiful, beautiful like glow. Even though that was, this is to modify, I'm mixing it with a glowing thing. Anyway, um, that is where I'm at right now. I have the tiniest little bit. I really do have to like really press it. Uh, but when I put it up against the light, I can definitely see I have product like on the side here and on the side here. I try to squeeze out the product, but then when I let go, like it goes, it goes all the way up anyway. So uh, I think by next update, this will be finished, uh, but I'm loving it. It's a great, great product. Then for the category of a fragrance, I am going with this Coach uh, Poppy Flower fragrance. This has been discontinued for years. I had stocked up and this is my last bottle. Um, I don't mark, I don't ever mark my perfume bottles, uh, but that's where I'm at right now. I don't have a lot of progress because I was working on um, another fragrance that I was really, really close to finishing and I didn't wanna like start using this one and leave that other one with the tiniest bit left. So I started working on that other fragrance. Um, like I was still working on that other fragrance and it wasn't until about maybe about a week or a week and a half ago that I started working on this guy. So that's why I don't have a ton of progress. Um, I'll, I'll still show you guys, but that's where I'm at right now. You won't be able to see much difference, but I love this fragrance. It smells great. It's my favorite one. I don't know why they discontinued it. And then last but not least, I do have for the category of something in my birthstone color. My birthstone is amethyst. And for that, I am going with a highlighter from this Aurora Glow Kit. The amethyst is kind of a purpley shade, so I went with packaging on this one. And I am working on this guy right here. Now, unfortunately, I did repress it and I forgot to take a picture of, <laughs> of what it looked like before I repressed it. But you guys just have to take my word for it that I have repressed it and I was able to hit pan on this guy again. So um, I feel like this is gonna last me maybe two more updates and then I'll be finished, which would be amazing. I would be super, super happy. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at with this guy. Um, I am wearing it today. It's the highlighter that I wear every single day. I really love it and I think it's great. So um, that was really fast. <laughs> I do have 11 categories left here on my list. Uh, so, well, 11 categories that I haven't picked. Uh, obviously I have like 20 because I'm still working on some. So I do have my number generator here, one through 11, and we need to pick one because I was able to finish one. So the category was number two. Uh, it's something from a collab. Well, let me go look at my collection and see what makeup item I can I can pick that was made in a collab. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and I picked probably the most boring thing I could pick, <laughs> but 
but I didn't really want to go with like a, a highlighter or a blush or or a lipstick just because those take a long time and I already kind of have items picked out for that I want to use for those categories so I went with an eyeshadow and this is from the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collab this is super super old it's an eyeshadow palette and I am going of course it's brand new <laughs> and I am going to be focusing on this cream shade right here in the shade blonde and I will be using this to set my makeup my my eyeshadow primer so that's what it looks like right now brand brand new I haven't even been swatched um, and I don't know how big these are how big are these 1.4 grams so it's pretty big it's definitely gonna take me a few months to use this up uh, but hopefully I can finish it and um, and it won't I am already using a cream shadow to set my eyeshadow but it's from a, an, another Urban Decay palette uh, which I've already hit pan on so I feel like I can use that one out maybe rather quickly but I hope it, I don't end up using this one and then leave like the tiniest bit left at the end of the year with the other one anyway this is the the easiest item I could find to fit this category so hopefully you know It'll, it'll go okay so anyway that is where i'm at right now with this project i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching for next update i feel like i'm gonna have um for sure this one will be finished maybe my 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 lip balm will be finished uh but other than that i don't see anything else being finished so i don't know stay tuned for next update to see if i meet my goals thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye